921, welcome back to GMSA at 9. We served two terms as mayor of San Antonio. was both a lawyer and judge in the area prior to that. But in the more than 50 years, uh, former mayor Phil Hartberger has spent in San Antonio. It's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to his life story. It's one so interesting that it's the focus of a musical tonight at the Tobin Center. He and some of those involved in the production chatted with us ahead of the show. Here's Justin Horn. Phil Harper is an amazing guy, uh, a remarkable part of San Antonio's history, and luckily he's still continuing to do great things for us. That's just part of the message Lee Kusenberry hopes people take away from his musical about the former mayor. Yes, a musical. It takes various and sundry incidents, and part of my various jobs and adventures, and uh, turns it into music. I hope a few people are actually interested in my life. I certainly will enjoy it. There'll be one person that thinks it's a great hit. That would be me. The production, written and directed by Kusenberry, will detail the life adventures of Hardberger, including those long before he was mayor. Probably of note is uh, I recreated Lindbergh's flight in a single engine airplane and flew from San Antonio to Paris on his 50th anniversary landing at Le Bourget Field. Then I flew also in a single engine airplane alone uh, to Madrid. I've also sailed across the Atlantic from um, Fort Lauderdale to uh, Portugal. That's all after flying B-47s in the Air Force. Hardberger would also go on to serve as an executive secretary of the Peace Corps. He's climbed a few mountains, too. And that's not a play on words. Hardberger summited Mount Kilimanjaro at age 60. This musical celebrates him, and it also celebrates uh, his park. The Northside Park, which bears his namesake, he says was popular far faster than he could have ever imagined. I was worried it might take people a good long time to get used to a new park. It took about two weeks, and uh, the numbers were just astonishing. Hardberger says between trails, sports fields, and two dog parks, nearly 1,000 people visit the park every day. And on a rainy one, 600. The under construction land bridge will complete the park, finally joining the two sides together. Karina Zars is a San Antonio native and performing in the musical. Her take on the chance to be a part of it? It truly is an extraordinary thing. You know, I mean, I've, I've grown up here in San Antonio my whole life, and I haven't really followed, you know, too much of the actual personal journeys of a lot of our politicians. You know, you, you kind of don't really know what their histories are, uh, but it is a fascinating story. And the more you learn about him, the more you want to meet those that haven't. I, I would love to get just sit down with him and, you know, have a beer or something and say, so tell me some more of your cool stories. So what are the chances the mayor will make a cameo? You will not get to see me sing or dance and that probably is a great benefit. Justin Horn, KSAT 12 News.